Well, how about the question I was asked to talk about? Will we ever get the never? I would like to rephrase that. Why haven't we got the never? Well, the first reason, of course, was that at first we didn't believe it was possible. I mean, you know, you just can't. I used to talk about, I, I remember, I, I remember talking to a huge group of surgeons at, at one of the, one of the potential organizations, and I talked about, imagine the day when we have no wound infections. They all kind of looked at me like I was smoking something. Uh, <laughs> but we'll see that. We'll, we'll have no wound infections. I, I mean, we'll, we might even see that in my lifetime, certainly see it in yours. But people didn't believe it was possible to get that. We've gotten a little bit over that hurdle. But then they said, well, they don't really know how to make it happen. Sort of gotten over that, too. I mean, we, there's a lot known about how to, how to prevent these kinds of events. So it really comes down to the fact of we lack the will. Well, why do we lack the will? Seems like a no-brainer. Why would you want to do everything you could to make healthcare safe? Well, I would just point out, as my friend John Nance will, will certainly second, that unlike pilots, who were compared to all the time, doctors don't pay the price for the mistakes, nor do the hospitals. Uh, and as a matter of fact, uh, generally speaking, we don't pay any price at all. But more importantly, any kind of change is uncomfortable. We all know that. You know, that we, we talk about, about uh, systems change. And I like to say to my students, I said, systems is code word for behavior. <laughs> and behavior change is not something anybody does well. And it's always uncomfortable, but the kind of change we're talking about is really uncomfortable, and it's really uncomfortable because it's causing a lot of people, doctors particularly, but nurses to some degree, to really have to reassess their self-image of who they are and what they do. And that doesn't go easily. Uh, and we don't give them the help that we need to do. Uh, and as I like to teach my students, the first rule of behavior change is the person has to perceive a need to change. That's another way of saying that things have to be uncomfortable enough, unpleasant enough in the status quo that you want to do something different. I would suggest that we haven't done that, that we, do, we have not created an environment where the people on the front line really feel that what they're doing is uncomfortable and un unpleasant. And I would suggest that's your job. Thank you.